During reassembly of the pinion into the case, and if you have a used pinion and you have marking compound all over it, you need to wash that off. Before you assemble, you want to make sure that you lubricate your new bearings, or even if they're old bearings, you lubricate the bearings and also make sure the race is lubricated. Go ahead and set your pinion down into the race. Make sure it spins freely. Take and lubricate your front pinion bearing so that it's all ready for you to go. And have the rest of the assembly components ready. Have your crush sleeve, your new seal, if you have an oil slinger or a washer, have your companion flange ready, have the companion flange lightly greased right here where the seal seals so that it's all ready to go. Take your new seal, make sure that this is packed with some white grease as well and lubricate on the inside with white grease so it's all ready to go. Well, this is an old seal. Also make sure you have your washer and your nut ready. In addition, a good size plastic faced hammer. We're going to flip this over and we're going to have to hang on to this. We're going to build our assembly until we can get the nut on. Then we can let go of the bottom here. So here we go. Crush sleeve. A little bit of oil on the bearing race. Make sure it's oiled. New bearing, washer or oil slinger if you have one, new seal, and your companion flange. Make sure to line up the marks that you made on disassembly so you get it back in the same spot. While holding on to the pinion below, gently tap on the companion flange. Our goal is to get enough threads that we can get the washer and the nut on. You need a little bit more, you need a little more than two or three threads so you don't strip it out. Now you can let go. We'll then use the holding tool to tighten up on that nut. Now you can pretty freely tighten as long as you can feel up and down movement. Once the up and down movement stops, then you have to tighten very carefully. Over tightening or over crushing that crush sleeve will mean that you will have to take it out and replace it and do it again. So you're pretty safe as long as it goes up and down. Never back it off. If you've over tightened, you never back off the nut and leave it where it's at or stake it down because you're going to lose your pinion bearing preload during service. Okay, no more up and down. Now we would tighten to get the proper turning force preload. And in addition, sometimes the bearings need to be seated a little bit. Tapping on the housing when you first assemble it can help seat this. This spins pretty freely. I can tighten this up a little bit more. Doesn't take much. And moving it back and forth will sometimes free it up. It only takes a little bit to make it really stiff. After you have reassembled your drive pinion, and you are tightening down your nut in order to create your crush on your bearings, you have to set this up with a preload. This is done with the case removed. You need to tighten this up to a certain turning force. The manufacturer will give you your turning force, their bearing preload. If they're used bearings, it'll be different than new bearings. Place your dial indicator up, give it a rotation, Run it to free it, stop, 
Make sure it's perpendicular, real gently until it starts to move. Right around 13, 14 inch pounds. If you can get that value a couple of times, then you've got a good reading.